everyone hope you're all doing well welcome or welcome back to this channel this reading is about your dharakarika the planet holding the lowest degree in your chart the dk it's a jai mini concept not gemini sign i'm talking about jai mini concept and before just starting the reading i just want to say that please ignore my bug bite <laughs> so i went to the you know the the farmhouse and i got this as a gift as a present so let's just ignore this and let's get started with the dharakarika series because i feel that if it it's been ages that i've updated the dharakarika thing on this channel <laughs> All right so as i have told you in my previous dharakarika reading that dharakarika is the planet holding the lowest degree in your chart all right in your vedic birth horoscope there are degrees as well if you are new to vedic astrology gemini astrology then hey we are talking about gemini astrology the the karka the seven karka system not the eight karka the seven karka system because i have studied seven karka system so i am from a school of thought where seven karkas are being promoted and used and in my own personal experience in my personal readings i have found that seven karka system is working really well so yeah we don't use rahu ketu in the seven karka system i mean ketu is not even used but rahu is used in the eight karka system we are not going to use rahu we are just going to use sun moon mercury mars jupiter saturn and venus so ye grahas jo hai in me jo sabse lowest degree par aapka planet hai wo aapka dharakarak hai wo aapka dk hai all right so yeah let's get started with the you know dharakarika in different signs first i was thinking that hey let me just make a reading about dharakarika in different houses but in jaimani signs really matters more than houses i mean houses does matter but more than houses signs matter the most so let's get started with that niche description mein time stamp diye hue hain wahan ja kar aap apne time stamp par click karo aur apni reading sun sakte ho so again all the time stamps are in the description box below so let's get started with the dharakarika series all right so if your dharakarika the dk the planet holding the lowest degree in your chart is in the sign of aries so in the sign of aries it shows that your spouse specifically the early degrees of aries if your dharakarika is there it shows spouse is a very athletic person he or she may walk fast talk fast eat fast always is doing something or the other they are always uh, running in the race of life they are the people they are the individuals who you are going to find uh, that they believe more in ayurvedic medicines than allopathic medicines they are the ayurvedic people they can even become an ent doctor if the planets um are conjunct in a way that you know a person can become a doctor then of course uh, an ashwini person will become an ayurvedic healer or an ent doctor as well and whenever moon transits the nakshatra of ashwini you will notice that your spouse's nose will be blocked that day that those particular hours and also your spouse may himself or herself deal with some ent issues or cervical issues or basically eyes nose throat issue and it also shows that spouse uh, in in the middle degrees of aries we have the nakshatra of bharani in the end degrees of aries we have kritika nakshatra so it shows that if uh, your dharakarika is in the middle of uh, aries sign from its 4, 13 14 degree onwards Uh, if you have your dharakarika in aries it shows that spouse is going to be a person who will never forget what you did to them or he will or she will never really forget whatever the other person did to them 10 years back also good or bad they will remember no matter what they have the memory of an elephant again bharini ka nakshatra animal is the elephant so they will have the memory of an elephant they never really forget and they have to be like your spouse may even lose fluffy romantic feelings because of the hardships of life because of 
they will achieve everything in their lives with with a um, lot of practicality and reality and because they deal they are so like they have situations which are so practical and realistic so they kind of you know don't have those fluffy romantic feelings anymore because of so many tough experiences in life so it shows that your spouse will be a very practical a tough kind of a person and they never really forget and in the end degrees of aries if your dharak arc is there then it shows that spouse is extremely critical again kritika critical critical analysis your spouse is a person who will lack diplomacy because overall if we see sign of aries if you have dharak arc in aries your spouse will lack diplomacy this is what it is take it or leave it that kind of spouse so it shows spouse is real he believes in realism he do not sugar coat things she do, uh, she does not believe in sugar coating things they are direct and they are the people uh, who will also kind of uh, may not really like their bosses at all because they may feel like that i should be the boss my boss should not be the boss because he knows nothing and i know everything so that will be the kritika nakshatra um but yes overall aries also we can say that yes spouse is going to be like that so let's now say something about the dharak arka in the sign of taurus so sign of taurus it shows again kritika spills in the sign of taurus and then we have mrigasi uh, then we have rohini and then we have mrigasira so it shows spouse will be a person who again will be very critical but now because sign of taurus represents kutumb wealth family assets jewelry so it shows spouse will be very critical about his or your expenditure like a uh, spouse is kind of a person who will um you can say is always like where did you spend the money how much did you spend on it all right we need to save or we need to uh, you know like where is the money where did the money went he become very or she becomes very critical of money and can be stingy about money at times can be a bit stingy about money at times and it also shows spouse will love music dance will love acting will appreciate beauty will appreciate the arts this person also wants to live a luxurious life specifically a rohini like dharak arka and rohini spouse wants to live a luxurious life get attracted by beauty and um, love dance music can even you know would want to go into fashion cinema these kind of things and also in mrigasira it shows like if dharakarka is in mrigasira in the sign of taurus then it also shows spouse is a person who will have a strong sense of smell like this person will be a person who kind of can smell a dirty diaper from far away <laughs> so that's also going to happen and let's say your dharak arka is placed in the sign of gemini in the sign of gemini also mrigasira aata hai matlab mrigasira spills from sign of taurus to gemini and if your dharak arka is in gemini and that to in mrigasira it shows spouse will be a person if they are malefic impacting this dharak arka let's say saturn is um, aspecting this मृगिसेरा नक्षत्र धारा कार का इन मृगिसेरा और राहु इज एस्पेक्टिंग मृगिसे योर धारा कार का इन मृगिसेरा और इवन यू नो मार्स इज योर धारा कार का गेटिंग एस्पेक्टेड बाय अदर मलफिक लाइक सैटन राहु और इवन केतु केतु एक्चुअली ब्रिंग्स मोर यस इवन केतु केतु इज अ मोक्षा कार का बट स्टिल इट्स स्टिल मलफिक इन नेचर सो या हेयर इट काइंड ऑफ makes a person go into alcoholism substance abuse as well because mrigasira is a nakshatra of that hey i want to ex- escape i don't want to live on this bhumandala earn and pay my bills and la da 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 i don't want to do it i don't want to do it i want to live in a world which is full of beauty and full of happiness and the thing is this is a nakshatra about exilier of life if i'm not saying it um, i hope i'm pronouncing it uh, pronouncing it correctly it's exilier of immortality uh, which uh, indra also wanted so like this this is a nakshatra about that exilier so 
what happens is that this person with mrigasera nakshatra drinks or do substance abuse because they feel that they are in other world subconsciously these people actually want to be in other world they don't want to be on this bhumanda they want to escape this so that's why if malefics are impacting either the native or the native spouse will love alcohol i'm not saying that they are going to abuse these things uh, but um, it can happen if malefics are impacting and we also need to see the condition of that planet in navamsha and even i would say sastiyamsha if the time of birth is perfectly correct so yeah and also with the dhara karaka being in the, the gemini sign we have the nakshatras like um, if the nakshatras like ardra and punarvasu so in the ardra side of gemini it shows spouse is an outcast like this is a rahu rule nakshatra rahu is the rahu is the outcast rahu is so unorthodox that's why it's also outcast so it shows that spouse is going to be a person who will not like to mingle with people he will he is not a person who likes to go to parties and talk to people no he is not that kind of a person she is not that kind of a person they are the people who hate small talks people who run away from small talks they cannot do that because they will get too awkward and um, you will also notice ardra people will have thick eyebrows that's going to happen that's going to happen i'm not saying that they are going to look like shin chan the cartoon but like even if you see shin chan the cartoon um you will notice that of course shin chan have uh, dense eyebrows but he is also very different all right he is very different and he even oversteps other people's boundaries that that is there and a very chaotic energy as well if you see shin chan so ardra is also nakshatra of rudra which is the fierce form of shiva and rudra is a very chaotic deity but rudra is also known as the vedyanath in our rigveda but yes with ardra nakshatra this is the fierce form of shiva which is rudra so this is a semi destructive nakshatra as well also because directly opposite to ardra we have mula nakshatra which is ruled by kali again a destructive deity but wants to construct something new that's why destruction is happening so again there is this positivity with that but yeah with ardra nakshatra your spouse will be a person who will have who can actually have thick eyebrows dense eyebrows or those eyebrows like meet in the middle uh, and they are the people who will like to stay in their home stay in their room do not really like to mingle around people so much they believe in deep talks but they don't believe in small talks this kind of spouse and if your dhara karaka is in again in gemini sign itself in the nakshatra of punarvasu you will notice that the spouse is going to be a person will love to travel can travel travel with the comfort of their home maybe they are traveling with their pillow maybe they are traveling with something which reminds them of the comfort of their home so that's going to happen and with punarvasu your spouse will feel or will start to feel stability in life only after the age of 32 and now let's move to the sign of cancer and in sign of cancer if your dhara karaka is placed in the sign of cancer again punarvasu spells in the sign of cancer so it shows that your spouse uh is gonna actually your spouse can deal with third party situations in life you know when um he or she like they were in a relationship before and their partner just left them and then they got to know that that my, that my partner was cheating on me or there was this third party situation happening and that happens with punarvasu nakshatra more and even if you have your venus in punarvasu that also shows that you can deal with a third party situation before the age of 32 not after 32 so much before the age of 32 you can deal with a third party situation in your life in terms of love romance relationship because uh, i don't want to get into deep into nakshatras but yes with punarvasu this is a nakshatra of shri ram and shri ram's wife sita got kidnapped by ravana so a third party came into the view so again i don't want to get into it but yes it does show that a third party situation can happen if venus is in uh, the nakshatra of punarvasu whether it's even gemini or it's cancer as well cancer may be punarvasu sp- spill karta hai and let's say like your you know dhara karaka 
is in sign of cancer but now in the nakshatra of punarvasu it uh, sorry now in the nakshatra of pushya so it shows spouse is a person jo khate peete ghar ke lagenge ki ha ghee butter khaya hai they will have a plump body round belly they are the people who are always teaching advising counseling other people no matter what they are going to do they're going to advise teach counsel other people if you have your jupiter sun in pushya you yourself or the spouse are going to be extremely pro, uh, patriotic that's going to happen and let's say if your dhara karaka is in the sign of cancer but in the nakshatra of ashleha shows spouse is moody spouse is a person if he wakes up one day and he is very you know um uh, in mood and energetic motivated you know that day success is where he is or she is standing and um, if the spouse wakes up very demotivated lazy lethargic then success is 10000 miles away from them so the mood becomes everything if if they if he or she are in the mood they will you know complete even the difficult task with ease but if they are not in the mood then a simple task becomes very difficult to complete so that happens with ashlesha people it also shows they can be quite transformative with their looks they can transform their hair style they can transform their uh, their fashion sense etc they can even deal with skin issues because ashlesha is a nagarul snake rule nakshatra so naga snakes leave their skin snakes leave their skin and a new skin is formed so they can deal with dry skin issue or skin issue in general when the dhasha of that planet you know starts if you can take chara dhasha you can take vimshotri dhasha this just, just that a uh, planet should get activated and you will see that they will start to deal with a uh, skin issue if malefics are impacting and in general also an ashlesha person can go through acne issue and some sort of skin issues let's say your dhara karaka is placed in the sign of leo in the sign of leo your maga uh, pura felguni uttar felguni so it shows that your spouse i mean your your spouse i mean dhara karaka let's say it's in the nakshatra of maga it shows spouse is a person who is very proud of his bloodline proud of his lineage proud of khoon uh, khandan jisko hum kehte hain he or she are going to be very proud of that and they are the people who respect family traditions family culture etc they are the people who are always going to run in the race of life they want to get that ceo title in their life that executive title in their life and they are always running after that seat of power in their life they are the people who will have a big sexual appetite as well because the nakshatra animal is a rat that's why and rat really reproduces quickly uh, and if your dhara karaka is placed in pura falguni then also spouse will have a big sexual appetite because uttra falguni ka nakshatra animal is again the rat only all right so it's the female rat and still they will have a big sexual appetite with pur uttra also uttra falguni also maga purva and uttra falguni i've seen that these people are very sexual in nature many porn stars also come out of this nakshatra that's also there because the sexual appetite is really big and with the it, it also shows with uh, pura falguni that spouse can also be very lazy they can sleep thrice a day if they got the chance to they are the people who will talk on bed eat on bed sleep on bed you know these kind of things bed becomes everything for this person and again uttra and pura falguni ka symbolism jo hai it's of it's it's the bed only and with uttra falguni if your dhara karaka is in uttra falguni in leo it also shows spouse will have some sort of morning routine and without that morning routine he cannot start his morning if he started his morning without that morning routine he's going to feel jittery all day he's going to feel weird all day and i can totally understand that <laughs> like it's it's very true that you know lukewarm water or that tea that coffee or you know simply taking a walk around the house if that's the routine of a uttra falguni person and they didn't did that in a in a day they're going to feel very weird and jittery all day and even like let's say that your dhara karaka is in the sign of virgo and virgo mein bhi uttra falguni uh, spill hota hai 
and it shows spouse is very detail oriented spouse is a person who will be very anal about the details will be dealing with contracts in life contracts at work will be a bull in their career they're always running to that to uh, to that um, goal which they have and they are the people who will not stop until and unless they reach their goal and they are the people who will love music dance and they are natural counselors and advisors as well they deal with contracts in their at their work and they are also like if uh, you know your dhara karka is placed in virgo itself in the nakshatra of hasta uh, we have in virgo we have uttar falguni hasta and chitra so let's say your dhara karka is placed in chitra uh, sorry ha, uh, hasta nakshatra in virgo it shows spouse will be a person who will have skilled hands hasta means hasta represents heart hands so they naturally will have um this restless hand syndrome either they are doing something or the other with their hands or they are uh, scrolling their phone uh, but they are always keeping their hands busy they can be very much skilled in painting drawing some some sort of arts even music instrument if dhanishta nakshatra is present in their chart or saravan nakshatra is present in their chart but yes with hasta they are quite skilled with their hands they are the people who can even take long showers long bath um and they love that they just feel relaxed after that and if let's say your uh, dhara karka is placed in the chitra nakshatra in virgo side it shows your spouse is a natural accountant he or she will have natural photographic memory to them they will remember ki kitne like how much money i have given to them and how much money i have to take from them so they will have that photographic memory about that money part and they are the people who can synthesize a very difficult mathematical problem and give it to simple give it simple solutions and they are the people who are you know who are good when it comes to crunching numbers and let's say your dhara karka is placed in the libra sign in libra sign as well the chitra nakshatra spills now libra chitra and virgo chitra are different virgo is about accountancy detail orientation but chitra uh, in libra because libra is a venetian sign it's about beauty arts designing body building so chitra people you will see with virgo uh, with the libra you know in libra if your dhara karka is in libra in chitra nakshatra your spouse will be a person who can be very much interested into body building who can be very much interested into sculpting their body and uh, keeping the physical body fit and wearing bright colored clothes or wearing nice clothes they can be branded or they can be non branded but they wear nice clothes they have a good taste and they are the people who can even have interest in vr virtual reality technology and yeah if your dhara karka is placed in the libra sign itself but in libra we have chitra swati and vishaka so let's say your dhara karka is placed in swati it also shows like early degrees of swati is also like chitra nakshatra like early degrees till you can say you you can say around like the beginning degrees of uh, swati you will see many similarities with swati uh, chitra nakshatra like your spouse if you have uh, your dhara karka in swati it also shows spouse can be interested in body building spouse can be interested in going to gym taking care of the body sculpting the body they are with swati what also comes is business with swati business comes into play and specifically you have to notice jupiter placement if they are going to be good business people or not because jupiter is the karka of wealth and jupiter represents wisdom if swati represents taking risk swati people are risk taker your spouse is going to be a risk taker but we need to see how jupiter is placed if jupiter is not well placed they are going to be excellent business people excellent business people they know what they are doing they will want to achieve the highest of materialism in their life want that big car want that um, luxurious uh, want that luxurious vehicle want that big property they they will be like that and they will take risk in their career and will do best in business but if jupiter is well placed let's say is in the sign of aquarius 
sign of cancer exalted uh, jupiter uh, then or jupiter itself in sagittarius or pisces in its own sign then that person will be more spiritually inclined will be about higher philosophy but yes with libra if you have your dhara karaka in swati spouse can be a great business person and spouse can even be in digital marketing spouse can even uh, be a devotee of hanuman and spouse can even love to watch movies related to superheroes like um, superman and if let's say your dhara karaka is placed in vishaka nakshatra in deep right shows that spouse is going to be a person who kind of uh, you can say is very competitive in nature they are going to be extremely competitive in nature they are the people who are going to keep an eye on their competitors and want to be 10 steps ahead of them they want to win at any cost and all cost they don't take they don't take um, defeat ready well in life they are the people who would want to live a luxurious life again they are the people who wants the best of wine best of food etc they are that kind of people and let's say your dhara karaka is placed in the sign of scorpio and in sign of scorpio vishaka nakshatra spills also in the sign of scorpio we have anuradha we have jeshtha so it shows dhara karaka being in the vishaka nakshatra in the sign of scorpio in the sign of scorpio vishaka becomes very possessive very protective and at times they they have the just like jeshtha see vishaka and they start kind of similar because both are ruled by indra but vishaka is also ruled by agni so in the sign of scorpio vishaka nakshatra also become extremely sexual and sensual in nature they are the people who dwell behind the scenes can do manipulations behind the scene can uh, can um, make things or can make other people according to them i mean they can do behind the scenes things and manipulations and because of that in front of other people they always kind of shine i mean they are going to be diplomatic vishakha people are definitely going to be diplomatic they won't even tell you that what connections they have and behind the scenes they 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 do all that jazz you know they they they, they can seem they seem very popular they seem very attractive they seem very truthful but that duality also comes into play when you see behind the scenes there are actually the people who have a lot of brains who do manipulations i'm not saying that vishaka people are bad but i'm just saying that this is the nature of vishaka vishaka person will not raise hand and will say that this is the idea they will they will have that idea they won't tell anyone and they will kind of uh work on that idea and will bring that out and everybody would want what they have bought like vishaka is a nakshatra about potter's wheel a vishaka person can even make something from the sand like a vishaka person can make something valuable for, from something which is which has no value to it and that's why you should never ever underestimate a vishaka individual ever they will look very um innocent and people who may not like they seems that they cannot do anything but trust me they are i won't say that they are bad people but they are the people who will surprise you with something which you have, would have uh, never imagined and same goes with jeshtha as well jeshtha is also the same but the only thing with jeshtha is if you have dhara karaka in jeshtha spouse may not really use his intelligence his wisdom his um, you know that that uh, power of intellect so much like he will use that or she will use that but mainly they will use their dominance to make things work they 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 will use their dominance more and that's why you will also notice the eldest sibling have this will have this jeshtha nakshatra in their chart like you will notice many people who have jeshtha nakshatra are the eldest in their siblings and they kind of protect also their siblings their younger siblings but they at the same time can also dominate their younger sibling 
That's why Jeshta person. If you if you have your Dharakar ka in Jeshta, your spouse can be the eldest among his siblings, and spouse will be a person who will dominate the other person. They will have the logic, but they won't use it so much. They will dominate the other person and make things work in their favor. And I'm not saying that they're again bad people, but they're again very protective and possessive about their loved ones. And it it shows again it's an Indra rule Lakshatra. They will love to be in a regal royal setting. They are the people who wants luxuries in their life. And again, Indra wanted to bring heavens on earth. So like it shows spouse also want to do something similar. Spouse wants to live a luxurious life. Let's say if the Dhara Karka is placed in Anuradha, which is again in Scorpio, in the heart of Scorpio, it shows spouse and be a past life devotee. If you have your Venus in Anuradha, you may even come across, you may even come across a person who become extremely obsessive of you. You can even get that because this is Kalyuk. This is not Satyuk. This is Kalyuk. So that devotion can turn into obsession. So you need to be careful here. But yes, with Anuradha, this happens that it can like your spouse who end up getting married to the person you may end up getting married to. They are your past life devotees and you know, such people with Venus or Dharakarka in uh, uh, Anuradha, it may even show that your spouse may love the someone a lot, but that someone went away. That someone, they didn't really live their life with them. They wanted to live their life with them, but that someone went away from their life and then they got with you and they end up marrying, they, they live their life with you. They, yeah, you, you are their spouse now. This kind of thing also happened because Anuradha is the nakshatra of Radha. Anuradha, Radha ka nakshatra. Uh, and Radha never really got Krishna. So that's also, that, that's also true. So an Anuradha person, like if you have your Dharakarka in Anuradha, your spouse can would have loved someone, but that someone would have went away from their life. And then you came in their life, in their life, and you guys had a relationship together and the, then you got married. And uh, it also shows spouse can be very much interested into occult, mysticism, astrology, these kind of things as well. And let's say your Dharakarka is placed in the sign of Sagittarius. And uh, in sign of Sagittarius, we have the Nakshatra of Mula, Uttra Ashada, Purva Ashada. So let's say your Dharakarka is placed in the Mula Nakshatra. It shows that spouse will be a person who will dig deep is a person who is a great researcher, won't believe on the first hand information, wants, uh, won't believe in the second or the third hand information, would want that first hand information. So he will dig deep or she will dig deep, research and will bring that information out in front of everyone and would spread that information in the world. It also shows that spouse will love to eat things which are grown inside the earth like uh, potato, ginger, garlic, taking extra ginger, extra garlic in their food. And let's say your Dharakarka is placed in the nakshatra of Purva. Ashada, it shows spouse is a person who is a very good uh, is very good when it comes to strategy, planning things, and it shows spouse uh, will have interest in writing. But I'm not saying that he or she can be the experts in writing. I'm just saying that they can be good when it comes to writing or they have interest in writing. They are the people mostly I've found Purva Ashada people to be working in human resource management. Uh, HR, like right, and um, they are the people who work in statistics. They can do MBA in strategy. Can be your spouse can be high, uh, can be highly educated, meaning that they can have some uh, higher education degree. They can have their MBA done or some masters done. And it also shows spouse will have a monkey mindset. They cannot do the same repeat repetitive things 365 days of the year. They are the people who want change, who likes change, cannot stick to one thing in their life. And with uh, Dhara Karka being in Uttra um, Ashada, it shows an Uttra Ashada in the sign of uh, Sagittarius. It shows that your spouse is going to be a person who will be very good writer. Purva Ashada also represents writing, but Uttra Ashada, I have seen prolific writers like Uttra Ashada people. If you have your Dharakarka in Uttra Ashada, it shows that your spouse is going to be very good when it comes to writing, writing long paragraphs, scripts, long emails, long text messages. These people will write long. Uh, they are very good when it comes to expressing themselves while writing. 
so yeah and these people again are going to be very uh, strategic in nature plan things out wants to live a luxurious life again that's going to happen let's say your and yes one more thing you can even check if you have or the spouse have moon fifth from the karakamsha lagna the karakamsha lagna which is again a jaimini concept not gemini sign jaimini concept jaimini astrology is related so you can even check that if fifth from their karakamsha if moon is placed they are very good writers they are very good writers and uh, let's say jupiter oh my goodness why jupiter let's say dharakaraka is placed in the sign of capricorn and in sign of capricorn we have the nakshatras like uh, uttra ashada we have uh, dhanishta we oh sorry we have saravan and dhanishta so let's say the dharakaraka is placed in the sign of capricorn in the nakshatra of uttra ashada it shows spouse is going to be extremely good when it comes to office politics when it comes to work politics they are very good at that they are the people who know when to say what to say whom to say they are the people who are extremely cunning when it comes to again office politics and taking the incentive or being very famous at their work famous in the sense that they are going to be recognized at their workplace and it also shows spouse may not really like his bosses so much he may feel like that i should be the boss they should not be my boss i should be the boss because i know much better than them and they are going to be the people again who writes really well writing is their skill writing is their forte let's say jupiter uh, why i'm saying jupiter again and again so please um um if you have your uh, you know dhara karaka in the nakshatra of uh, saravan it shows spouse may deal with ear issues this is very true if malefics like saturn rahu ketu uh, or even mars are aspecting the dhara karaka spouse will deal with ear issues specifically when you run the dasha of that planet or run the sign dasha which is like in jaimini we use chara dasha which is a sign based dasha vimshotri dasha mein we use planet based dashas so if you run through the chara dasha of capricorn and you have dhara karaka in capricorn in the nakshatra of saravan spouse will start to deal with ear issue from there onwards or will have ear issue on in that particular time period that's very true this, this happens uh, maybe spouse themselves their one ear is working the other is not working so some sort of ear issue will happen and also with saravan it shows spouse will be very youthful in their looks very youthful in their appearance even if they are in their 40s they're going to look like they're in their 30s if they are in their 50s they're going to look like they're in their 40s they're always going to be youthful in looks they are the people who will love to travel can even travel for their work thrice in their life can change their job thrice in their life the third job or the fourth job will provide them the satisfaction they want and let's say the dharakarka is placed in dhanishta shows that the spouse is going to be very much interested into music music instrument would love to sing or love to play some music instrument and with saravan as well if dharakarka in saravan spouse may love to do love to sing that can happen and with dhanishta it shows spouse will be very much interested into music instrument can have some sort of music instrument at their home at their place they are the people who are very technical in nature they don't like to take other people's bs at all uh, and let's say the dharakarka is in the sign of aquarius and in sign of aquarius we have the nakshatras like dhanishta satabishak and purva bhadrapada so let's say your dharakarka is placed in the nakshatra of dhanishta in the sign of aquarius here the spouse will like to connect themselves to to uh, you can say large organizations which are related to music which can be even related to information technology it they are the people who like to work in the corporate sector they are the people either they are the people who like to work in a corporate sector or they are the people who wants to be in a university kind of setting wants to be in a group kind of setting where there is music where there is rhythm so that's going to happen 
and uh, and also with dhanishta they are the people who can just fix things it's not important they, that they will they have to have an engineering degree with them to fix thing at home no some people are naturally very much gifted with their hands with the dhanishta nakshatra it shows spouse will be gifted with their hands they can fix things at home if let's say some sort of um utensil in the kitchen is not working they will fix that thing and that thing will start to work they are very technical in that i if if you are watching this reading for a wife if you are watching this reading for a husband like both the cases female and the male case you know uh, can have with dhanishta a person who can fix thing at home and also let's say like the dhara karaka is in the nakshatra of um mm -mm, satavishak it shows spouse will be very much obsessed with their hair set at least once in their lifetime they are the people who are always running in the race of life they are the people who could have also started the menstrual cycle quite early in their life as compared to others they are the people who will be who would want to live in a gated society because they just feel more safer there they are the people who will also say let's have cctv cameras let's have cctv cameras here there in the house and all that jazz because uh, satabishak is a nakshatra related to thousand eyes or thousand stars which are the thousand eyes of varuna so stars hame night sky mein dikhte hai right stars are in the night sky and the god of the deity of night sky is varuna so varuna's uh, the stars in the night sky are the eyes of varuna so such people either can work in work as a person who looks at cctvs a person who is in cyber security a person who is into you know field of security and such people are the people who can even get a lot of um, a, a lot of uh, relief from essential oils and bark flower remedies like people say that bark flower remedies essential oils really work slowly but for a satavishak person essential oils bark flower remedy can really work quickly and such people may have to go to many many doctors to find their cure because michael jackson also had his moon in satavishak he went to many many doctor but was not able to find his cure same goes with the satavishak person a satavishak person will go to many many doctors but won't find the cure until and unless they go to a doctor uh who has ashwini nakshatra in their chart so an ashwini person will be able to heal a satavishak person and most of the time ashwini nakshatra occurs in an ent doctor's case in an in 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 an ayurvedic doctor's chart so mostly and a satavishak person gets their gets their cure from an ayurvedic healer from an ayurvedic doctor so if you are a satavishak person or your spouse or dhara karaka is in satavishak take your spouse if he is dealing with something or she is dealing with something take your spouse to an ayurvedic healer ayurvedic ayurvedic doctor let's say your dhara karaka is placed in the purva bhadrapada so it shows with the purva bhadrapada your spouse is going to be a person who will be very extremely protective and possessive of children like in in a sense that they can spy on their own children they are going to be extremely possessive and pro protective of their children of their young ones of their loved ones they are the people uh, who will like things which 90% of the world will not like and they will dislike the things which 90% of the world will like they are the people who will dig deep into something who will you know jump in the ocean of knowledge and will only come out when they have all the knowledge so like in hindi hum kehte hain na ki sanak chad jana ye to san ki hai isko to sanak chad gayi hai so same goes with puro bhadra bada person that, that when they get interested in something they will go deep into it and they they are only going to come out when they have got everything from that thing or when they have gotten each and every information about that thing and it also shows that they are the people who will feel directionless in their life if they are not doing something related to politics something related to child activism something related to creativity so in teeno mein se they have to do something to feel direction in life let's say your uh, you know dhara karaka is in the pisces sign so in pisces also we have purva bhadrapada 
we have Uttrabhadrapada, we have Revati. So the same things which I told you for Purobhadrapada in the sign of Aquarius goes, you know, matches with the Purobhadrapada in Pisces. The only difference with Purobhadrapada is that in Pisces it becomes more intense. It becomes more intense. Purva and Uttrabhadrapada, you know, these nakshatras are about Kundalini awakening. One awakens their Kundalini with Puro Bhadrabada. If your Dharakarka is in Puro Bhadrabada, and even Uttra Bhadrabada, if your Dharakarka is in Uttra Bhadrabada, you will notice that as you guys grow and mature, spouse will become more spiritual. Spouse would want to attain knowledge related to Kundalini. Spouse would want to attain knowledge uh, about, you know, self. Who am I? I am a soul. Who is the supreme soul? There must be a creator. You know, all these things he or, he or she will get interested into. And the thing is, a Purva and Uttra Bhadrabada person, if you have 10 Uttra Bhadra, 10 Purva Bhadrabada people at one place and they want to have rains in that area, Uttra Bhadrabada, Purva Bhadrabada can actually change the climate. They can actually do that. They can. They have this ability. And they are the people with Purva uh, Bhadrabada this individual will awaken their kundalini like a lightning like you know it will be painful it will crush their bones and it will feel like that they are going to die uh, because it's so intense it's like the the storm came the lightning hit them and now they are awakening their kundalini with that but whereas with uttra bhadrabada it's more calmer than pura bhadrabada Uttra Bhadrabada people will also be very much interested into spirituality, will be the people who wants to be spiritually aligned. They are the people who will awaken their kundli very, Kundalini with very, you know, ease, with a lot of, you know, calmness. Uh, the, the fluid is rising from the Muladhara Chakra and it's going above and it's, you know, connecting with the thousand petal lotus. It's connecting with the crown chakra. So it's going to be a, you know, good experience of Kundalini awakening. And, and again, Kundalini awakening is not the, you know, not the, uh, you know, end of uh, knowing God or knowing our own self. It's just the starting of that journey to other realms or whatever there is. It's just the starting. So you'll notice with Uttra and Pura Bhadravada, these people are intense people. They are quite intense people. They are very serious about their work. They will choose a work which they will love. If they have a work which they dislike, they will someday or the other leave that work. And with Uttra Bhadravada, it also shows spouse will be kind of weird in a sense that sometimes they, they are wearing the name brand clothes and the other time they are wearing simple clothes and will start to do meditation. There will be this duality with the Uttra Bhadrapada and Pura Bhadrapada as well. This will, this will happen. Because the thing is, Uttra and Pura Bhadrapada in the Pisces sign, the symbolism of Pisces is of two fishes. One fish is going in one direction, the other fish is going in some other direction. So, there's this confused mindset as well shows early in life your spouse would have been very confused about his life what should i do in my life what should i how can i earn money sustain myself at the same time i how can i attain that spirituality how can i come really close to god so he will he will be confused or they are going to be confused a puro bhadravada person will be 100 person into something an Uttra Bhadrapada uh, person can find a balance, materialistic balance and spiritual balance. I mean, these people will be your regular Joes, will earn good, normal IT companies. But at the same time, on weekends, they are doing meditation, practices and Priya Yoga, etc. So, they are normal people like us, you know, working in IT companies, normal people normal jobs but then you will notice that when they come home they do some sort of meditation etc and they are very serious about it but an Uttra Bhadra person can balance the materialistic world and the spiritual world they can balance them both whereas an Puro Bhadra Bada person will either 100% will go towards that spiritual realm or can 
hundred percent go towards that material realm as well. So it depends again. And with Revati Nakshatra, it shows if your Dharakarka is in Revati in Pisces, it shows that spouse is going to be a person who will, you can say, will love music, dance, will be a person who can be actually a vegetarian, a vegan. They are the people who should not take a decision. They should sleep with the idea and the next day they should take a decision about something if they want to. And with Revati, it shows spouse, or you may meet your spouse after traveling to a distant place. If you have your Dharakarka in Revati, you will meet your spouse after traveling to a distant place. Or you will meet your spouse um, with the help of an old wise person who is actually overweight as well. They will tell you about your spouse. You may go with your father to that person. Or you may go with your fatherly figure. If the father is not alive, uh, you will go with a fatherly figure to a person who is overweight, who is old wise and you will then get to know about your spouse and with Revati if Venus is let's say Venus is in Revati and you're a male watching this reading this video then if you have your Venus in Revati it shows that your spouse can actually be few inches or half an inch taller than you that can happen with Revati if Venus in a Revati because Revati is a nakshatra of Princess Revati who is the princess of Satyug. So in Satyug people were like 10 feet tall and in Kalyug the average height is 5, 7 or 5, 8. So what happens is Venus when it's in the Revati nakshatra, uh, uh, um, you know, a male gets a female, a wife. Uh, I mean, of course, if you are gay, then things are going to be different. But if you are straight, then of course, you will look for a wife. Uh, and the wife will be actually few few inches or half an inch taller than you if you know you have you're a female watching this reading for a husband then also like it's it's quite normal for a female to marry a male who is taller than her so it does not really matter but if you are a male watching this reading and you're watching for a wife venus and revati will give you a spouse who is going to be few inches taller than you or half an inch taller than you but that's gonna happen you uh, your spouse if Dhara Karka is in Revati your spouse will be a devotee of Krishna will go to his con or can even be the devotee of Christ because Krishna and Christ both were shepherds and yeah that was it this was the Dhara Karka series and I hope I gave you some sort of information about your spouse and that was it some sort of information even about nakshatras so I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this. And for if you do not um, like uh, know how, where is your Dhara Karka placed? Where is your Venus, the Karka of uh, wife in a male chart or Jupiter uh, husband in a female chart? If you don't know these planetary placement, uh, you can just, you know, go to my website and can book yourself a reading with me i do astro tarot reading and nakshatra kundli reading you can book yourself a reading from my website the link to my website is in the description box below you can even buy these uh, bracelets uh, these are handmade bracelets by me and these are cleansed these are charged so you can even buy these on my website so link of my website is available in the description and you can go check them out book yourself a reading and i shall see you in the next reading of the kele be positive stay happy